up? What's up guys and welcome back to another quirky video. One of my previous videos unexpectedly blew up and I noticed in quite a few comments that players were having trouble hitting the tracks in the boss fight because the hitboxes were too weird or their ping was too high. So in today's video, I'll be breaking down every method to hit the tracks, ranking them from the least efficient to the most efficient. Remember, it also depends on how you guys find it. If you've been using a certain track method and are quite comfortable with it, don't bother learning a new one. Stick with whatever method suits you the most. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. This is the original method, created by none other than Colin Mazzara himself. And the reason I'm putting it first in the video is because it's the most common. It's performed by moving in a counterclockwise direction around the track so it ends up directly in front of you, then slap flicking. This method is always guaranteed to work if you do it correctly. Some things to note include, move to the right first to start the circle, stay near the back, zoom out quite a bit, slap flick just in case, and don't slap too late or too early. While it may seem overwhelming at first, this is the easiest method to learn and I highly recommend it. The Thanos method created by Thanos Blocks is pretty interesting because it takes advantage of hitboxes. To do this, we need to break it down into a few steps. The first step is to face your camera perpendicular to where the tracks are coming from. Now hold A without shift lock to move away from the track. When the track gets close to you, slap the air, then press shift lock so your character face is perpendicular to the track. Now immediately hold D so you walk closer to the track. What this does is when you slap, the game registers it, but there's nothing to slap so nothing happens. If you immediately press shift lock and hold D to move closer to the track, the game will use that slap from before to counter the track. This method is a bit complicated, but fairly efficient if you do it right. For this method, credits in the description, you want to face forward using shift lock. When the track comes towards you, turn your camera perpendicular to the track and jump towards it using D to slap it. The jump makes sure that you can hit the track early, and turning your camera makes sure you hit it sideways. This method is pretty simple, but I don't recommend it because it doesn't always work. Credits to Billify for this, and essentially what you want to do here is similar to the previous method, but instead of turning only 90 degrees, you turn 180 degrees and slap when the track is behind you. In other words, you want to hold S the entire time while turning your camera behind you. When the track is in a comfortable position, that's when you slap it. I've tried this method and I know a lot of people who do it, but it's just not for me. From the looks of it, however, it's pretty decent, so I'd recommend trying it out. Thanks to Epic Destroyer for this method, since it's helped a lot of my friends get the badge. This is basically just like the Colin Mazzara method, but you only need to do half of it. Instead of going in a full circle around the track, face opposite from where the tracks are coming from and hold A, then S. If the keys confuse you, just remember that all you need to do is slap the track when it ends up in front of you. I recommend moving backwards in some way so that it's easier to hit when it nears you. This method is second only to the original method, and I would highly recommend it to anyone trying to get the badge. And with that guys, I think the award for the best method goes to the original method. It's simple, easy to perform, and guaranteed to work every time. If however you want to experiment with other methods to see which suits you more, feel free to try those as well. Anyway, if you guys found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support my future quirky content, and I'll see you in the next one.